Hello, my name is Wenji. I'm a graduate student from the Department of Chemistry at Northwestern University. Today, I'd like to talk to you about colloidal crystal engineering with DNA. This is a story of chemists and material scientists using the blueprint of life to create new materials, and it's leading to a wide range of exciting new possibilities. Let's start with order. How atoms are arranged determines what kind of materials they will form. For example, the same group of carbon atoms can be arranged into graphite, which is dark and soft, or diamond, which is transparent and hard, depending on how these carbon atoms connect with each other. It all comes down to the arrangement and bonding. Nature uses chemical bonds to arrange atoms, and so taking inspirations from nature, we wonder if we can arrange material building blocks just like atoms, but on a much bigger scale. To answer this question, we need to take a closer look at the nature of chemical bonds. These bonds are formed by the pairing of electrons between atoms, and the formation is highly specific. It's almost like a group of atoms talking with each other, deciding the best way to form a chemical bonds. And order emerges as the final outcome. For example, cesium ions like to bond with chloride ions to form cesium chloride which is a chemical compound that is defined by a cubic lattice that can infinitely repeat itself. This process is amazingly similar to another naturally occurring phenomenon, which is the recognition and pairing of complementary DNA strands. When anchored on nanoparticles, these fuzzy balls of DNA nanoparticle conjugates can act just like atoms. If we program the DNA sequences such that blue particles like to bond with the red ones, we can get a cubic lattice that is stunningly similar to the structure of cesium chloride crystal. Because we can program them to form these structures, these DNA functionalized nanoparticles are often referred to as programmable atom equivalents, or PAEs for short. So colloidal crystal engineering with DNA is the process of designing predicting and controlling the arrangement of PAEs to form the structure that we targeted. And DNA is how we bond them together. Over the past 26 years, the Merkin Research Group has been developing a massive library of PAEs that could mimic and even surpass what is achievable through conventional chemistry. For example, the identity and bonding behavior of atoms are inseparable, but that is not the case with PAEs. The cores of PAEs can be made of inorganic, organic, biomolecules, or just left empty. The assembly behavior is solely dependent on the outer DNA shell. This characteristic of PAEs gives us a chance to program the assembly behavior and material composition independently, resulting in dozens of highly ordered colloidal crystals, some of them having particle arrangement and therefore material properties that do not exist in nature. Another unique advantage of PAEs is that we can precisely control their shapes. For example, we can make a batch of programmable matter using cubic PAEs or plate PAEs, or we can make them match. This gives us a chance to build highly ordered nanoscale architectures as we are using Lego blocks. And the best part is, all we need to do to get these structures is to throw a lot of PAEs into a reaction vessel and they will spontaneously form the structure that we designed, within hours. Apart from gaining fundamental knowledge about how order emerges from disorder, our ability to synthesize these highly defined nanoscale architectures actually unlocked an important opportunity to make miniaturized optical devices that cannot be made through traditional fabrication techniques, such as a surface that can change color, or devices that can bend light for virtual or augmented reality. Carving this highly ordered structure from top down will be really time consuming and labor intensive. But engineering colloidal crystals with DNA saves time and lets nature do the work. Our colloidal matter can be ideal candidates for the next generation of optical metamaterials for controlled transmission for lenses, reflection for mirrors, absorption for absorbers, and refraction for deflectors. Using DNA as a programmable bond, we can create exciting new possibilities. Thank you for watching.